Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22621.2506 or KB5031455. This is basically the C release for the month of October, and this is most likely the last update for Windows 11 22H2 and the last update before Microsoft will release the Windows 11 23H2 version also to the main release. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what you can expect from this build, what was change and also what was fixed. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, of course, if you're a Windows 11 user to get this latest update, just open up the settings app by searching for it in the search box or using the keyboard combination Windows plus I on your keyboard and then go to Windows updates. Make sure to select get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates. And this way you will get the latest update for your or Windows 11 operating system, in this case for Windows 11 version 22H2. In the release note, Microsoft is specifying all the highlights from this build and basically they are officially announcing the availability of Copilot, new improvements for the start menu, taskbar system tray notification changes, new file explorer, new Windows share, backup and restore emojis, Windows spotlight narrator, voice access security, graphics and Windows mixed reality, settings and Bluetooth, Windows 365 switch and also input improvements and changes. I'm not going to go in depth with those because I've already done an in-depth video in which I showed you all the new moment for update features for Windows 11 22H2 so you can check that out on the tech base channel. Particular to this build you'll notice that this update adds new customization options for dynamic lighting OEMs. You can now customize OS images for new PCs. This includes setting up dynamic lighting defaults. Also in this update memory leaks were fixed related to ctfmon.exe and also text input host.exe and of course you'll notice other fixes and changes that you can see in an in-depth list of in the article below in the video description to certain small parts of Windows that will improve the Windows 11 experience altogether. And of course, as always, we also have the Windows 11 service and stack update with the build 22621.2495, which ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. So as I've said, as a conclusion, this is most likely the last update for the main release before Microsoft decides to change the Windows version to 23H2. And after that, we're going to make some different videos in which I'll show you different ways to install Windows 11 on unsupported computers or the new installation process of Windows 11 23H2, which I think will be some interesting videos to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zumanu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.